So what do you got to say to people who maybe have a brand that they're trying to grow on Amazon or maybe are just getting ready to launch a new brand on Amazon as far as lessons that you learned from you know the failure of one of your brands, but of course the overwhelming success of your agency? The clients that we work with, the brands that we work with that are highly successful all have one thing in common. Products are fantastic. They're sourced really well. And, and so what I learned, and, and we even tried to start a division at our company that was built for sourcing products, and it was a massive headache, like ridiculously mm -hmm. difficult work. And, and trying, to, trying to build that out, I, you know, we shut that down. Like We decided, you know what? We're not good enough at that, right? So I got burned on my Age of Sage account because I chose the wrong products. I got burned at my agency for trying to help other people source products because we weren't good enough at that either. So let me go back to my core roots and focus on marketing. And so typically what happens for people who are really good at sourcing products or really good at building or manufacturing or sourcing, they tend to succeed on Amazon despite everything else. Now, they can accelerate their success with the, with the aid of a partner, a la my Amazon guy or a marketing agency of some kind. That's why PPC is the most outsourced thing an Amazon seller does. But my advice would be to take a full six to 12 months picking your product. Now, okay. you, go, you, you go on YouTube and they're like, oh, it's 30 days and go on Alibaba and order samples and you're off to the races. AliExpress. Don't do that, <laughs> right? Like if, it, yeah. if you can do it that quick, then so can every other dude who lives in an apartment or is bootstrapping out of their garage. Like that's not ideal. So being more selective on product selection seems to be the common trend that I have found where, where highly successful brands have, have made their, their big cash. And there's also the counter to that where China will come in and rip your product off the second you're successful. And that's true too. But that's mm -hmm. where trademarks, patents, copyright, and some IP protections can come into play. And there's also the fact that if China is copying, that means you succeeded. That means you have a successful product and, and you'll still have a market share even despite that. 